Okay, welcome back. And in this video, which is video number three of the walk cycle series, we're going to make it so that our data man now um, not only walks across the screen like he, you see here, but we now have a infinite walk cycle. And it's actually a pretty simple process, so this video hopefully won't be too long. I'm going to go ahead and hit stop. And I'm going to set him back at one. And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to save this from being my data man progressive walk. And I'm going to now uh, save it as a new um, file because I don't want to lose my progressive walk. That way I can always come back in and do something else with it later on. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and call this my infinite walk. So infinite it infinite walk and we'll probably just call this one one or something like that okay so now i have it renamed so i won't lose my progressive walk in case something happens to this file i can always go back in and use my other file so <clears throat> what we need to do first is we need to select all of our control points that we had keyed and So we're going to do that, and when I do that, I just selected all of the control points. But the thing is, with this model, because we don't have a root down at the bottom, which a lot of models have now um, that are rigged, but this is a basic rigged model using the Maya rigging, um, and no root has been added. So what we're going to also need to do is we're going to need to grab some of the other things that we've uh, actually added keyframes to, and that would be all of these arm joints right here. So if I click on this upper bone here on both arms, you can see I highlighted the entire arm here and selected everything there. So now all of the controls have been selected. And when I go to do this next piece, it will um, work out so that the infinite walk will be applied to everything that we have keyframes on. So down here is our graph editor. If you don't have that, you need to go find it. One way is to go here and change this workspace to animation, and the graph editor should be down here in default. If you still don't have that, you can go to Windows, General Editors, and it should be down under here, or maybe not. So, oh, Animation Editors, there it is. Under Animation Editors, Graph Editor is right there. You click on that, and that'll bring up this graph editor. Okay, so, once we have that and the graph editor up, the first thing we need to do is we need to go to view and make sure that we turn on our infinity down here so that we can see any of our infinity curves that we add. And now you can see that it highlighted outside of our um, current frames some uh, more lines down here. <clears throat> okay, with everything selected, now we're going to go to curves. And we're going to go to pre-infinity, cycle with offset, and then curves, post-infinity, cycle with offset. And let's see what that did for us. We're going to go ahead and change this down here to maybe 100. We don't need to go very far out just to see if everything works. If I zoom this out, you can see that now I have some curves that have been added out here on either side for pre-infinity and post-infinity. So if I hit play, let's see if we have any issues with the walk. And there you go, Data Man now walks for a hundred frames. And that is pretty much the hardest part of this. So I'm going to go ahead and hit stop. And let's see if uh, we can continue walking out. So let's change this maybe to 300. Okay. And I'm going to hit back to the beginning, hit play. And you can see that my character, oops, let's go ahead and continues to walk. Walks off frame. Go ahead and select this view here. Change so I can see. So oh, walks right off my road, almost. And there we have it. You can see that still a perfectly good walk cycle for 300 frames. And I can change it to a thousand, five thousand, whatever, and. That is all there is to setting up a um, infinity walk cycle. Okay, so the next video will be covering now taking this infinite walk cycle and applying some turns at some point in the walk cycle. 
and that'll also use some of the tools that are inside of Maya. So this is it for video number three. Uh, watch out for video number four. If you like what you saw, please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, give me a like. If you uh, have some questions or if there's some issues, please let me know in the comments. Thank you very much and have a good night.